test the power of the new ship class, Frigate, I will be only using it to try and beat the game. But to stop me just doing a peaceful strategy until the crisis spawns, I must declare a war every 10 years, up until year 50 where the crisis will spawn, and then I must try and defeat them to win. Alongside this, we will be checking out the 3.6 beta for the first time. This video is filmed on the second beta for 3.6, so things might be a little bit different by the time this video is out. We will be playing the Frigate Heralds of Death, just, you know, a fanatic purifying clone army, nothing to worry about. And here are the settings. We will be playing on Grand Admiral, scaling off, and difficulty adjusted AI modifiers on. Pretty much the hardest you can do. And two times crisis, because I mean, any more at year 50, I think will be impossible. Now, of course, we're going to have to get rid of this fleet. It's full of corvettes, so um, get out of here. And the first thing we're going to need to do is actually probably go quite quickly for engineering. We need to get frigates before year 10. And we'll be selecting any text that might help us with outfitting our frigate. Our first habitable planet is on the horizon in Zuan. A size 14 desert world, not too bad. And then we have a yucky arctic world. And we have our first tradition. And look at this, finally some new tradition trees. We will definitely be exploring these in future videos and in this one later on. But now we're gonna go down prosperity so we can actually build buildings that keep up with our pop growth. Because currently we, we can't keep up. And building and districts have their build cost reduced. That's exactly what we need. And man, this planet is small, what? Hydrophonic bays are always the best. It's just free food essentially. Our second planet, Frigate 2, because we are obsessed with frigates. Not that we know what they are, but we've heard. And a tech that boosts the whole points of the frigate. Oh, plant tree build speed's probably better, but you gotta go with the role play sometimes. Yeah, we need to find someone in five years, so I don't know what happens. We have to declare a war, but I, I don't know who it would be on. Frigate build cost and speed. I would like to unlock that tech. That would be nice. <laughs> Maybe every 10 years was a bit of a stretch. Oh, I found someone. And okay, now we definitely need to try and get frigates going. Our colony is up. We need to build a clone vat. Still no frigates. Oh no. I noticed they changed some techs. Instead of minerals from jobs, now this gives worker pop output. Oh, we're still going to go for the military techs. Still no frigates. Um, we only have one year. Well, we haven't found anyone yet. So maybe the first 10 years we'll, we'll let off. Oh no, an asteroid. If only we, we had frigates to help us. This starby should save it. Should, hopefully. And the asteroid's dead. We just get a bunch of minerals. Nice. Oh, there's actually an empire here. And prosperity is finished. I'm going to jump right on executive vigor because it gives us edict fund, which means we can get more energy from jobs. And we have the unity. Now we can. I still don't have frigates and I haven't found anyone. So 10 years might have been a bit of a stretch. So on 20, we'll declare a war. And then every 10 years from then till the crisis spawns. Because I mean, we literally can't even declare war on anyone yet. Next, we're obviously going to go supremacy. Must prepare for war now. What is going on here? But well, we do need torpedoes for the picket as the picket's mainly a missile ship slot. And we have found Federation builders. Wait, they're our species. What? Okay, they're quite strong. Technologically, we're similar, but we don't have any ships yet. Wait, oh, I've got frigates. At the start of the game, I didn't. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I checked at the start of the game if I had frigates and it was only Corvettes. But I just unlocked destroyers and I was like, wait, what? I thought I needed frigates first. Maybe I needed the missile thing first. Anyway, let's check them out. So we only get one selection, a torpedo boat, which gives a small slot and a G slot. Yeah, so we needed torpedoes first, I believe. So the way missiles works now is that a multiplication damage based on the ship size happens. So small ships, these are going to suck. So early game, this is going to be hard, but star bases and stuff will be very good. And they do quite a bit of damage. Six average missile damage. I'm not sure if that's taken into account the duplication, but we do penetrate ships shields. So the only obvious choice really is to go for a nuclear missile. What's the point in shields? And we do have a new ship roll thing, which is quite cool. If you didn't want to completely customize, we're going to roll with max played armor because we have level three of that. Save this up. And we do have our second colony, which we're going to turn into an alloy world. And they're preparing war against us. Oh dear. We, we need to go quick. No, they're actually coming. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Why am I going destroyers if I can't use them? I mean, it doesn't matter. It does not matter, I don't think. Okay, go man the border, men. This is the most important time of your lives. Ship fire rate or survivability. Ooh. I think we go ultimate. I don't even have the unity, actually. They have 2k. Oh, uh, no. And they're only Corvettes, so we're going to suck against them. They have 3k now. Oh, gosh. Please don't. We have about three years till we have to declare the war, but they're also preparing on us. So, yeah. 
Okay, so we have 2.5 and 1.1. So we have 3.6k. They have, they're just growing in numbers. They have about 4k <laughs> of just pure Corvettes. And our frigates aren't good against Corvettes. Um, so we kind of need to outnumber them. How are they just getting more and more? Are you not a crumbling your economy? No? Well, I have to declare war in one month. <laughs> this is bad. I'm going to just stop buying everything monthly. Buy as many alloys as possible. Reinforce. Oh dear. Well, it's wartime. They're only superior to us now. Please don't come and kill us. Just hold. Please don't come. Please don't. If I literally found these earlier, I might have just been able to declare war on these. But these were the only people we could see. And they're leaving. They're leaving. What? Are they going around? I... No, 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 no. They're going around. They need to build up the starport on this side. I mean, if they're going around, I think we should try and take a few star bases over here while they're not here. So we're going to do massive damage to them, I believe. I hope. I might have just lost my entire fleet. Nope, the first strike lands and it just dies instantly. They run away. So we're very good against star bases. Okay, quickly build this starport up <laughs> while they run around for some reason. And I guess, I mean, we could just try and rush their capital down. I just don't have any armies. That's the issue. We can fix that though. Okay, let's see uh, missiles in action. So you see that first strike of the missiles landing destroys them. And um, we didn't actually lose any frigates. And you might be wondering what ships are even in this beautiful fleet. Well, we have Shippy McShip Base, Hope Mobile, Mondu's Flying Circus, which got cut off. <laughs> <laughs> and r slash Solaris is a meme. If you wanted to name a fleet, ship, planet, leader, or put an empire in the game, check out the Patreon and YouTube join button. It's much appreciated. Star holds, yes please. Cheaper ships, yes please. Oh, here's all of their fleets. Oh, that's actually huge. They've come to fight us. Come on, Starbase, regen. No, okay, here's the first fight. We did do quite well because those were actually destroyers and we decimated them. Um, the way fleets survive now is different to before. So disengagement chance is completely reworked. And to be honest, I don't know how. Yeah, we've just taken a planet. Perfect. We can slowly whittle them down, hopefully. Can we fight them there? Probably not, honestly. But if they leave, we can. Okay, let's take their capital then. While we purge the hell out of this. We're not going to take this planet because it's only 14 and Ocean World. We're going to save our precious pops. But it does mean we're going to fly through our traditions because we get unity, food, minerals for purging. Oh, they're going around. Yeah, we should try and take them out. I'm very glad they're using destroyers. We're actually good against them, but they're going to lose. And supremacy is finished. We're going to grab one vision. More unity, less amenity usage is great for ops. What is that? Have to put plus 5% integrated cybernetics. That looks so weird. In we go. There's nothing here except for the station. So it's fine. Easily taken out. Oh, here they come. We'll let the star base maybe tank. No, but we're actually decimating them. We lost one frigate. They lost 11. Oh, they're using frigates too. It looks like a Corvette symbol, but it's actually frigate. And just ignore my economy collapsing. It, it's fine. At least we're not dying. That's the main thing. Are they using frigates here then? Only one. What is this destroyer that was built? Get out of here. When I took their starbase, it was still building a destroyer. I promise I'm not cheating. I'm just casually demolishing all the buildings so that I don't have to pay upkeep on them and districts. I just want them to be purged and for them to leave me alone. We can't actually go to no retreat now. I think weapon range might be better though. Ah, no retreat. I guess we go sub diffusion X uh, to get more evasion and more tracking. Uh, any buffs to our ships is going to be nice. Oh, they have a 2.1k. I think we're going to be fine. Maybe. I hope we will. Yep, frigates are strong. Actually quite strong. Take off the destroyers before they leave. No. Oh, we actually just killed them. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to try and take all their systems first, but oh well. Five more years. Well, four until we have to actually kill something else. But I think we're going to use... Oh, I don't know. I always go clone potential. Ascension is very fun. And you know what? We're going to go it again. We must be ultimate clones. Oh no, revolts. I don't want these planets in the first place. Oh no, I may have accidentally created them again. It's an act of war. I mean, that war we need to declare, right? It's coming up soon, so we may as well just get ahead of it. They have 15,000! You know, I don't often do this, but I can't fight 15,000. So instead, we're just going to deal with them the correct way and just exterminate them all before they can cause a problem. Hopefully it does it quick enough. I don't think it's going to do it quick enough. It didn't do it. Well, we'll let them be. Okay, another 10 years has passed, so we do need to declare a war. Um, the only one we can really get to is this robot empire. So hopefully they're not too strong because I don't have my spy network built up on them properly. Be fine, I'm sure. 
Wait, <laughs> I have secrets of life. I don't even have this like one before that. That's hilarious. Banana core peaceful traders. Alien scum. They have 2,800 over here, so I'm not too worried, actually. We are just constantly reinforcing, too. 4,400? We have double. Oh, no. We're attached here. I am blind. Okay, well, once we've dealt with this, hopefully we win it. Yeah, we should probably go help our capital. Oh, no. No, they're going to land on it. Please don't do that. No. <laughs> they're going to destroy my planet. That's my capital. Oh, no, they grid them out. No, 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 no. Stop. Land quick. Oh, they destroyed my planet. Oh, they actually just decimated everything. <laughs> this scum, man. They got me good. I completely undervalued them. I will punish you. Because they've taken this planet as well. <laughs> no! But, uh, look what they've done. Look what they've done. Why did this colony... Oh, I forgot to build the clone vat on this colony too, so it died. This is the worst game I think I've ever played. It made me move my capital as well. To my smallest world. <laughs> uh... Okay, it's time to brutally murder them. I've had enough. Okay, let's not let any of our pops go here. They only give us unity, which is a bit annoying. If we purge Xenos that aren't robots, we get... Oh, this is going to be a tough fight. Oh, they do have destroyers. Ah, it's fine. Brigitte seem really strong. I thought they were going to struggle, to be honest. Proton launchers. So protons are now missiles. So those are going to be huge to get. They do need exotic gases, though, which we do now have an income of. This is going to be quite a big fight. It seems to be just like insta-kill. Once the missiles start landing, they just die. And we can now go flesh is weak or engineered evolution. So we actually probably should have gone spiritualist, but oh well. We're going to try cyborg, I think. Oh, we're getting prepared war and they're overwhelming. Why does this game do this to me? We need to declare a war as well. Well, I guess we'll declare on these. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, our planets will probably get taken again. That's the worst. But their fleet's over here, so it's fine. Everything is fine. No, they declared war on us. Oh, frick. This is very bad. They have 10k. Okay, it's not too bad, but they're just going to take our planets. Can we settle status quo here? Yes, we can't against them. This game makes me want to cry sometimes. Nine years of crisis is spawning. Please no. Please no. Not our planets. They have 25k. Um, uh, they're literally just rushing us down. I think we might die. Please stop. Please, please, please. Well, here we go. This is going to be a big fight. 15k. What do they have? Destroyers and frigates and corvettes. Come on. Yes. Frigate only. Oh, and then a 10k. Just a well... That was frigate only. Uh, obviously, you can't just spam one ship class. That's kind of the whole point of the update, to make all ships useful. Um, but hey, I had fun. I think them adding frigates is great. It counts as battleships, which means you can't just spam battleships constantly. Hopefully, you'll mix it up. If you like this video, then you like the time I started in the L cluster with the hardest settings I possibly could. Can I reclaim all the L gates? you got to click here to find out.